inverse of non square matrix of order 2 cross 3 in this video we are going to investigate the inverse of this non square matrix but before that let's discuss the non square matrix theory a non square matrix is of two types horizontal matrix and vertical matrix a horizontal matrix is the one in which number of rows is less than number of columns while a vertical matrix is the one in which number of rows is greater than number of columns moreover a horizontal matrix has only right inverse denoted by a or inverse while a vertical matrix has only left inverse denoted by a l inverse so for horizontal matrix right inverse is the inverse of matrix while for vertical matrix left inverse is the inverse of the matrix one thing must be noted uh, that is inverse of a non square matrix is somewhat different from the inverse of a square matrix for a square matrix a a into a inverse is equal to identity is equal to a inverse into a provided a is non singular whereas a non square matrix has only a left inverse or a right inverse provided a is a non singular too so a non square matrix if it is a horizontal matrix it has right inverse and if it is a vertical matrix it has a left inverse in this video we are going to evaluate the inverse of a non square matrix of order 2 cross 3 as this is a horizontal matrix so it will have right inverse therefore right inverse will be equal to 1 over determinant of a into adjoint of a provided a is non singular note that here we have used a or inverse instead of a inverse because for a horizontal matrix a or inverse is equal to a inverse now we find determinant of a and adjoint of a the determinant of a is uh, expanded as according to Roddick's definition for the determinants of uh, non square matrices as here column 1 is associated with column 2 and we get uh, a 2 cross 2 determinant minus uh, the column 1 is associated with column 3 and we get uh, a 2 cross 2 determinant plus the column 2 is associated with column 3 and we get another 2 cross 2 determinant now these 2 cross 2 determinants can easily be evaluated and we get determinant of a next for adjoint of a we know that adjoint is a transpose of matrix of cofactors therefore adjoint of a will be equal to this here cijs or uh, cofactors of elements of matrix so a or inverse will be equal to 1 over determinant of a into adjoint of a now we take an example to explain this theory we take a non square matrix of order 2 cross 3 as a is equal to 2 3 minus 1 1 minus 1 minus 2 we take any matrix now we find the uh, determinant of this matrix the determinant of this matrix uh, is expanded according to Roddick's definition as here column 1 is associated with column 2 and we get a 2 cross 2 determinant next column 1 is associated with column 3 and we get another 2 cross 2 determinant uh, next the column 2 is associated with column 3 and we get another 2 cross 2 determinant uh, here plus minus plus are due to cofactors of the elements horizontally these uh, 2 cross 2 determinants can easily be evaluated and we get the determinant of uh, a as minus 9 as uh, this uh, determinant is not equal to 0 therefore 
E is a non-singular matrix, so its inverse exists. Next, we find the adjoint of the given matrix. As we know that the adjoint of a matrix is the transpose of a matrix of cofactors of elements. So we first find the cofactors of the elements of this matrix. As this matrix has six elements, so there will be six cofactors. The cofactor of an element Aij is defined as Cij is equal to minus 1 raised to power i plus j into Mij, where Mij are minors of the elements of A. Now, we first find the cofactor of element 2. The element 2 is at place A11 for this matrix. That is A11 is equal to 2. So, we find cofactor C11 for this element. So, C11 will be equal to minus 1 raised to power 1 plus 1 into M11 and that will be equal to minus 1 raised to power 2 into determinant of minus 1 minus 2. Here M11, M11 is found by deleting first row and first column. If we delete first row and first column, we get a determinant minus 1 minus 2. It is a 1 cross 2 determinant and 1 cross 2 determinant is evaluated as A11 minus A12. Therefore, determinant of minus 1 minus 2 will be equal to minus 1 minus minus 2 and it will be 1. So, the cofactor of element 2 which is C11 is 1. Continuing in this way, we get C12 as minus 3, C13 as 2, C21 is equal to minus 4, C22 is equal to uh, 3 and C23 is equal to 1. Now we have found the 6 cofactors. Therefore, adjoint of A will be equal to transpose of these cofactors. Uh, we put values of C11, C12, C13, C21, C22, C23 and we get adjoint of A is equal to 1, minus 3, 2, minus 4, 3 and 1. Now we take uh, the transpose and the adjoint of A is equal to uh, 1, minus 4, minus 3, 3, 2, 1. Therefore, a or inverse will be equal to 1 over determinant of A into adjoint of A. Now we use values of determinant of A and adjoint of A and we get A or inverse is equal to 1 over uh, minus 9 into adjoint of A. The value of determinant of A is minus 9 and adjoint of A is equal to 1 minus 4 minus 3, 3, 2, 1. Now we verify uh, whether this A or inverse is the right inverse of the given matrix A. Therefore, we find A into A or inverse as A or inverse is the right inverse. Therefore, it must be on the right of matrix A. Uh, when we multiply this uh, matrix, we get the identity matrix of order 2. Hence, it is proved that A or inverse is the inverse of the horizontal matrix A. Also note that if you try to find A or inverse into A, it will never be equal to any identity matrix that, uh, that is identity matrix of any order.